What an awesome way to roll that beautiful bee footage. Cap, honey. Today is a balmy 95, and we're looking at getting to about 103, 104. Do you think that they want this back, Cor? I think so. That's what a nine framer should look like, bowed out past the top bar. Or you're wanting to do your your hive last? Last, yes. What hive are we, are we doing first? Well, we're gonna drop one on this one beside yours. Okay. And we're gonna drop one on the uh, exterior one over here because they both have one shallow super that we want to get if you'll take the bricks, bricks off of there for me please smoke them a little Get you, get your fume board, get your timer. All right, start your timer. Okay. All right, you got one rolling there. Let's move over here and hit this other one. Okay. You got your timer set, right? Yes. may see how they've sealed this shut yeah okay they may get a little cranky when they come up out of there so get your uh, smoker there's some kind of lizard thing. yeah the wood roaches due to all the rain give them a little smoke right under there Ooh, there's a whole lot of those things in them it looks like a super capped honey to me Ed. <laughs> Little fella, you need to go on. All right. Wait. Cor, mm -hmm. can you explain to everybody watching what we're doing, what we're using, and why? So, this is a fume board that you spray it with the honey bee gone and it drives all the bees through out of this box into a lower box and then that way when you're taking the honey there's no bees that are coming with you. So that allows us to pull the entire super bee clear Yes. and take it to the extracting room. Mm -hmm. uh, fume board Got a solar panel top, sunshine above heats the honeybee gone to a vapor. 
pushes the bees. They do not like it. It's like an almond extract. Um, so they go down away from the honey. Yes. Give it 10 minutes. Yes. A lot of times in this direct sunlight beating on it, it'll happen quicker than that. We'll break the entire super off, take it, cover it, and then we're really where, where we can put it on another hive. Yes. We're only taking shallow supers off today, right? Yes. Okay. So we can, if we're going to get that one, this one, and these, go ahead and let's take our bricks and set them to the side. We'll leave them capped till we set a fume board on them. Um, have you got your timer where you can check it so we know we can't be very far into it, but we got a lot of sunshine on these boards. I think it's probably going to drive them quicker today. We have six minutes left. I can see the, the bees are starting to uh, pile up a little thicker out here now. How long? Six minutes. Okay. Yep, it's pushing on them pretty good. They're getting thick. He's around there. You can look at that pile coming out now. That's an old lid. Yeah, starting to show a little, little rust damage in it, a little yeah. rot. The paint's held it, about all holding it together. <laughs> Here's an interesting fact that I've found over, over the years, so you can tell that this is a painted super. This is an eco-treated super. The eco-treated super, the great thing about it is, it's water repellent. And the bees inside are keeping it clean and temperature is pushing the moisture to the outside and with the eco treatment it allows this board to dry. Here's what happens with paint. When you paint things and you really seal all your edges, all your sides and your flats, that moisture stays locked into the board. When it stays locked into the board, it rots behind the paint. The paint's been what's holding this corner together now for quite some time. We're gonna to have to replace this lid. When I do, it will be an eco-treated lid just for one simple fact. Bees take care of everything in here stays solid. All your moisture accumulates out here in this painted wood edge and starts to rot. Now it's the dry rot and this board is, this, this outer cover is basically become useless because now you'll still start having insects and bugs wanting to inhabit that. So little, a little bit of uh, tech tip there, eco treatment. It has really been the thing with my, with my equipment. Uh, saves time, get bees in it quicker, help prevent the rot. What time we got, timekeeper? We have about four minutes. Using fume boards are quicker than picking these frames up one at a time. Now I'm, I'm fighting bees that are in the box. I'm pulling the frame, brushing bees off. You're brushing bees off, they're getting mad. You can pick them up and get to about right here just shaking them back in the box. That works real well if you've only got one or two hives to do. But the bees get grumpy. You injure a lot of bees. Using this, this spray works so much better because you're pulling the entire box off of them. The time is 10 minutes. The bees aren't mad. Uh, they merely get out of the way, get away from it. So. It, it, it really is a worthwhile thing for you to, 
to look into doing on your next honey harvest. Uh, fume boards are relatively inexpensive, the spray is relatively inexpensive, and just in the time that it saves you being out here pulling your honey, it's worth it. You know, we've got a, a timer set for 10 minutes on this particular fume board. I'm standing right here in the blistering sunshine. This is also in the sunshine, and I'll bet you that lid is super hot. This is one thing, another thing I want to mention. You just saw me use that solar fume board. That's new. That's really a new uh, innovative board compared to where we were. These old fume boards all had an aluminum skin top on them, small thin piece of felt underneath. Uh, they work great, but on a cloudy day, that board will still make heat. This board on a cloudy day, I've had to use my little my little plumber's torch and actually run the flame across this metal to get it hot enough to activate my spray to move the bees. Um, sometimes you get in the middle of these things and, and thunderstorm shows up, uh, cloud cover moves in on top of you and you don't have this sunshine to activate. Old school fume board, they work great when the, when the stars are aligned. The new one, if it was super cloudy and drizzling rain, you know, hey, it's probably not gonna work any better either, but I do believe that it works better just because of that black solar panel on top. It is collecting any heat that's available. So you might give one of them a try. These, these are actually, uh, there may be a few manufacturers that are still making these and a few places that still sell them. Um, they're not very common anymore. This was the common. Now the solar type is the common. Um, they're great. The, they're, they're both great. They've been used for a long time, pulled a lot of honey with them. Still use the old school when it still works. When you got sun like this, you push bees. How much time we got, Cora? We have about a minute. About a minute. I think it's you betting that this pushed them bees down and out? Yes. I'm going to say by that pile out front that you're probably right. We're only taking this one super off this hive, right? Just one super. I bet we've cleared it. What do you think? Yep. You want to, if you'll, I'll bust this loose. I'll close them up. And you button them back oh, there's down. There's our timer. All right, you give them a check and make sure they'll have room to expand back into, and I'll be right back. Got them buttoned up? Yep. Well, set me 10. Let's just put it on this next big one here. Okay. You have 10 going. Super full of honey. Smoke. You might smoke these just a little now when I get them set over here. All right, you got me 10? Yep. And I think that other one's ready. First one? 
Yes. Okay. I'll close these up. Ooh, that's a chunk. Oh. <clears throat> honey leaf. Oh, super honey. Oh my goodness. Daddy, this one kind of exploded with honey. Got a little honey going on. Do you want me to just scrape it off? And... I'd run up there and get us a paper plate and we'll just put that in it and eat it here in a minute. Okay. Let's set it right there. Now we just took a full super Full shallow super of honey off. Capped, capped, capped. You can see the honey they've got laid up that was in between the frames in the super boxes. But you can tell by looking right down through here. What we took from them Still was not the bulk of what they have available. You want me to scratch this off and put it in? Each one of these frames that we're leaving, this has got liquid, so nectar in it. I can see that frame capped off solid. The opposite side of this frame is solid capped. And the reason it's so dark and so black looking is these bees have spent so much time walking on it, they've walked the capping into the comb well. And so the wax has taken on appearance that it's super dark. And uh, it is much darker than a fresh spring capping's wax over that new honey like is in that box we just took away from them point is they've got this to make it through the dearth with and the fall flow to put it back I believe they want that worse than we do. <laughs> what caused it to do that? Just the heat? They just, they just built it. Oh, what causes it to run and yeah, be liquidy like heat. that? We uh, ruptured it when we pulled that. Mm. Super, take your tight tool and knock it in the bowl when I... Try not to bury them in it. I know it's a little hard to do. They just won't move. Kind of shoo them ones you got there along a little bit. All right, take that and put it somewhere safe before they find you with that honey. Okay, I'm going to go run it up there real quick. Okay. Did that one feel heavy? Like super, real heavy? Uh, the super I carried off? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. 
and this one needs an inner board, looks like. Good time to assess your equipment when you're taking honey. Speaking of assessing equipment, Jason, if you'll walk around back here, you'll notice a leak. We have a leak. Cor, I'm taking the top box. Okay. I don't need to close these up, right? You want me, when you take that off, you want me to put this fume board on? Yep. Okay. Oh, you got a frame. If I can get this dude up there. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> All right, drop the other fume board on him. Yes. Cora, did you and Jason happen to look in that one when I took off before you put the fume board on? Okay, I was just wondering, it looked when I... There wasn't that many bees. Okay, that's what I was asking. The brief moment that I could see in it, it looked pretty clear, so yeah. it won't take that one but half as long. I set a timer for... Okay, well, what says you that we bring that smoker and we come up here and uh, drop this lid on the next one? How about that? Okay. <clears throat> Quicker we get this done, quicker we get to be where the fan and the shade's at. Yep. All right. We'll hide for Let's first. go to the far end, because it's got sunshine, and then we'll use the solar board on the shady ones. Okay. All right, pop that lid, oh. please. Couldn't, couldn't quite get enough mustard there. Yeah, they had it pretty stuck, didn't they? Ooh, that's a lot of bees. <clears throat> They're not just super glad to see us, are they? Nope. Like honey to me, Cor. Yep. And they don't want to share it. Can I put this on? Put her on there, Cor. Line her all up, and I believe you've got a box down there ready to come off. I heard a <laughs> beeper. Yeah. All right. Leap frogging. Here we go. I this is us, go back and forth again. I got us a timer set. It. All right. Setting. Well, I'm gonna pull this box, and then uh, this time when I pull this box, y'all take a look at this box. It could be that it's got uh, capped honey. Could be partial. Could be completely full. I don't know. Okay. But it's got to come off. We're gonna get them down ready and get them ready for some DFM and some mite treatments. Ooh, I see capped honey in there. Uh, Cor, take my fume board and drop. go ahead and drop it on there. Got it? Go ahead and drop it yes. on. Give them three minutes. I'll be back and pull that off. Okay. Jason, yes, sir, sir, can you see what we got here? Barely. It's hard to see down there. Let me there. give you a little. Before I start collecting bees. There you go. Yeah. Capped honey.
Go, how come I ain't letting you run these full boxes of honey up the hill? Huh? We got about two minutes on this one. We got about seven on that one. Okay. Beekeepers that are willing to stand in the direct blistering heat to gather honey. Risk while risking life and limb from those who aren't appreciating it. Totally worth it. Absolutely worth it every day. It also helps that you seem to have good bees. Yes. The bees temperament makes it much more enjoyable because I have done this on those days that are undesirable and the bees mad, upset. And then by the end of the day, you know, you're kind of following suit. But it is not bad today other than it is some kind of warm. I think the good Lord of Breeze is blowing. What's the temperature today, John? Today is a balmy 95 and we're looking at getting to about 103, 104 feel like temperature. Yesterday Cora and I pulled honey. It was 94 degrees actual and 109 feel like by the time we finished. Uh, talking about not a dry thread, can't get enough water, kind of deal. But we got it done. We brought in nine supers yesterday afternoon from a, another yard. Um, we got seven off of it. Uh, the, the nine produced seven full supers of honey. As y'all can tell, we, we run a actual shallow uh, super. Each one of these, if they've gotten, and I run nine frame spacers with nine frames, if every one of those frames is drawn to its potential and full of honey, that should have 2.5 gallons of honey in that super. Now, that's the perfect storm. That's if all nine are there, they're all drawn out and capped and ready to roll. Uh, it's, yes, ma'am. It's time. It's time, thank you. All right, here we go. You're gonna take care of the what's below and get them buttoned up? Yes, sir. Okay. Make sure I don't have a frame going with me. I do not see one. Give these boxes a twist. And that breaks it loose from the frames, and that dude is loaded with honey. Now, that's if that's dry comb core, you can rake it up and put it in your pocket. Okay. What core has got going is honestly necessary to be done because when we come back for our fall treatment for varroa this comb if she had left it would now be attached to that lid again and we bust them open and we start this fight all over again they don't have enough nectar coming in now to reproduce that much comb so this box is going to be pretty well clean if anything it will have uh it will have propolis resealed for the beetles and and thankfully enough we have seen zero beetles go ahead and button them up after you i'll raise them back down in the box you got your inner board okay okay yep you're ready all right, square it up. Good job. I'm going to reduce your fume board, and we're ready to go put it on, and I'll probably take one off. We have two minutes on the other one. Ten on the other one. Two. Two. Okay. That'll be just enough time to... Take a lid and get a box of honey off that one sitting beside it. Okay. No casualties, Cora. Nobody's been stung. <laughs> you 
had to go and say it. I brought it up. Yeah, that's been said. I brought it up. These hurt you. All these girls are sitting on so much liquid gold right now. Woo wee! Corey, this is going to be a can candidate for a super to be brought back and put on these as soon as we're done. Now you kind of, you just really ain't quite up there high enough to. All right. Is that good? Now give them a little right in that crack for your daddy. Ooh. <laughs> a few bees in there. I'd say that's bees, bottom to top, and look at the honey. Nice and capped. Capped and nice. Nice and capped. All right. You got me 10 on the clock? Yep. Okay, and I'm ready to take the other one, I bet, with the sun beating yeah. on it. It is. Okay. We have one more super to go on this one. I'm gonna take, twist this off and you get the fume board and drop it right back on. Okay. Uh, hey, hey, get you, uh, I'm sorry, get your bowl back and collect that honey in it before we get it dirty with that fume board. Okay. Kind of hard to, to do that and keep them off of it. And Did I take your smoker away from you? Nope. All right, did you make it happen? Yes. Good deal. You want me to go take this back? Just, you might want to just leave it here. Kay. You may be fixing to need it. Eight minutes. Eight minutes on the big high. Yes, how long do you think on this one? Sometimes you can set your smoker right there and the heat off that smoker's driving that fume board too. Do you think that they want this back, Cor? I think so. I think they do too. Now you do know that the longer that sits there, the more of them little girls you're gonna accumulate. Yep. And then the harder it is to get rid of them. You might want to shoe fly them a little. Oh, that's a good old chunk you got right there. Yep. Let me show you how to handle that. Take that piece. It's got some good honey. I want Where's this that piece this. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Don't be trying to lead me off of the spoils here. There's a little piece of a stick there. Hmm? There's a piece of a stick on the back of that one. You see it? It's all good. Hmm? Hmm. You think this one's ready, Cor? I think so. <clears throat> you want me to put that fume board back on? <clears throat> Okay, you're good. Oh my goodness. There you go. Jason, what do you think? I'd say you got a full box. Holy cow. There you go.
That's what we're here for. Is it a full box, Daddy? Full box. <clears throat> when you come back, this one will be ready. Okay. Number one, ready? Yep. Yep. I'll close this one back up. Which way do you want to go? Can you take it? Um. Oh, you got a frame. I got a frame? Yes. Good eye. About now. Good. Woo, got some more comb. <sighs> All right, there's your little comb to clean up and button them down and probably take your thing there somewhere else. Cor, we got just a little bit overzealous on that last one. I had a few more bees than I wanted. Okay, don't put this on and I'll go put the honey up. Be careful, there's a lot of bees on this side. Got a lot of bees, she said. And the smoke is right there. What an awesome way to roll that beautiful bee footage. And this will do it right here. Yeah. Cor, look at that. What? Huh. You know what you let me do? Queen? This lid goes with this lid. And these bees of course, as hot as it is, do you really think they just got cold? No. Wanted to group up. I don't believe it either. But there wasn't no queen there. There isn't? No. Do I need to smoke them? Or are they good? Oh, they're fine. Oh, okay. This other one's done, by the way. Are you certain? We got about 52 seconds last time I checked. Whoop, there's our timer. When you take this one, do you want me to put the fume board back on? <clears throat> now, you're going to tell me that this one's ready? The timer just went off. All right, and it was there 10 minutes? Yep. We're getting cooler and cooler in here, so... Cut all these limbs back to let us have some sun in here. All right, I can, here you go. That dude we is, have comb. where'd you go? Right here, do we need to take the comb off or not? Nope. Okay. Uh, put that on, I'll be back to get it. It's nearly clear right now. Here's a, here's a nine frame frame that everybody wants. Want you to look at this frame of honey. Every beekeeper needs one of these. Wow. That's what a nine framer should look like, bowed out past the top bar.
Jason, I think they're up here starting to think about wanting it back. Oh, they can work fast. Now this one, I left the fume on to finish clearing it, and it's still not 100%. They are not wanting to quit this one. Woo! Two, four, six, eight supers full, 16, 17, 18, 19. What is that, roughly 20 gallons? If they're all 2.5, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. And then 17, 18, 19, 20. If you put the halves together. You watch that Arkansas mathematics work in the bee yard. <laughs> Arkansas math works everywhere. It just doesn't. All right. Well, anything. it works better in my bee yard because <laughs> I am not a mathematician. <laughs> Cora, you got them buttoned up? No. I've had to smoke them a couple times. Well, it ain't got to be spotless. Just knock the big chunks off of them and get them lidded before we get any robbing started. I got most of it off now. Yeah, you got her looking good. All right, go ahead and throw your inner board on them. You want to smoke it? Uh-uh. You got an opening? Hmm? All right, you getting ready? Yeah. You ready? All right, go. Good job. Here's your honey be gone. Where'd your answer. little bowl of honey go? Did you take it back? Yes. All right, we got one. Two. Two supers to pull. And mine. I think what I want to do is I think how many bees we got piled up out here on this one? Not a tremendous amount, but we don't have them all home either. I think I'd rather, rather run them tight than to be too loose and we get a little influx of... All right, well, I'll tell you one thing we're gonna have to do real quick, like, we're gonna have to get some of that move it, honey moved into the shop because they're starting to build a cloud up there. And I bet I got to get the leaf blower to hold them off of us while we get them moved in. Yeah. What do you think? Probably. Probably. Okay, well, what we like is two boxes here and yours. Yep. So let's I address know. this before it gets worse. Come back and get this. Okay. Do I need to bring the smoker? Uh, bring your smoker. Right. Bring two if you got them. <laughs>